So if there's one thing that you should know about me, it's that my name's Jared. All right, subscribe, we'll talk to you later, bye. No, it's this guy, this fella right here, just moved the camera, hey -o. This guy doesn't like going uh, and socializing with lots of people. More specifically, he doesn't like going to clubs. You mean, I could pay money to go and listen to loud music I don't enjoy and get rejected publicly by women that don't like me? This sounds fantastic. And this is nothing against women. Women are great, I'm just not great. In social situations involving women, I'm, Deep down, I'm like a 10-year-old ten, ten boy, 10th grade? 10-year-old, one of the two. But over the summer was a dark time in my life, mainly because I was unemployed and I lived with my parents as a 22-year-old. So one of my friends was like, hey Jared, do you wanna go to this house party down the street? You won't know anyone there, but maybe you can hook up with a girl. What was I thinking was gonna happen? Of course I'm not gonna hook up with a girl, but silly old dumb Jared was like, yeah, I'm gonna go to this party where I don't know anyone. So on my way there, he starts talking to me about the group of people that I'm gonna be involved with. It's basically going to be a bunch of people I don't know and a bunch of people he knows, and he's going to try to hit on one of the girls. Let me break down what that means for you. It means I'm gonna be alone in front of a bunch of girls I don't know while he's trying to hit on a girl. And I'm not the alpha male type. I'm not gonna like be the life of the party, like flex or not. Is that what kids do? Do they flex in front of women these days? What normally happens in these situations is I go into a corner and retreat and hide, sit on my phone. If you go and look at any of my pictures on the internet, it's usually just me on my cell phone, not knowing what to do with my body in social situations. So I'm sitting in the kitchen of this apartment where I don't know any of the people here and this cute girl comes over and talks to me. Now the first thing I'm thinking is she's probably just coming to talk to me because she feels bad for me. The second thing I'm thinking is I know she's coming over to talk to me because she feels bad for me. Which is ridiculous because I feel bad for myself enough already. I've come to terms with them. I'm not good in social situations. I can handle myself elsewhere. So she starts talking to me and she seems like generally interested in my life and my backstory. And I seem kind of interested in her life and her backstory until she drops the bomb where she says something along the lines of like, blah, blah, blah. She says something along the lines of like, oh, me and my fiance, red light, hold up. You're flirting with me or talking with me and you have a fiance. Abort mission. Get out of here as fast as I can, Jared. So I'm sitting here sweating profusely. My friends made fun of me, by the way, that I was sweating profusely. So I'm sitting here trying to get out of this conversation because, you know, she's engaged and there's nothing that could come out of this situation for me. This is where I meant to say accept friendship, but I'm already at my friendship quota of three friends. So just keep, I was gonna put, keep, move on. When my friend who comes over to me is like, Jared, we can go to a club right now if you want. And I was like, yes, let's, let's leave. I don't care where we go, let's go to the loud music where more girls will not hit on me as long as I'm not in this situation that I'm in right now. So on the way there, I also get told that not only do I get to go to a club where I will listen to music I don't enjoy, and I will be around people I don't know, but I get to be the designated driver. How perfect. Now, for you guys that don't know what a designated driver is, it's fuck me. Not to bash, like, sobriety or anything, but if you've ever been sober around a bunch of drunk people, you'll understand exactly what I'm saying. Moving on. So we get there, and there's, like, several different parts of the, the, the bar, the club, that you could go to. There was one that was, like, a country bar. Obviously not going there. One of them was, like, an 80s rock band, which was, like, my best bet. And, like, keep in mind, like, a group of individuals collectively singing Journey together is my idea of hell. And the one we ended up going to, which was more of like a dance club and music, yeah, I don't know how to dance. The only dancing I ever did in, in, in high school and college a little bit, not too much, was grinding, which is me putting my genitalia against someone's bootay. So I'm sitting there kind of on the side, just like listening to music, whatever, like trying to have a good time. And she's trying to get me to dance with her. Now whether it's like, oh, we're just like throwing our hands in the air, and I'm gonna look like a ridiculous person. You thought I was gonna say retard, but that's a bad word to call someone. PSAs with Jared. Or grind with her, which I would find inappropriate. Not necessarily because she's engaged, but I probably won't be able to control any, this is too much information for everyone watching this. So I'm trying as hard as I can to get out of the situation. I end up just going to the bathroom and leaving for a while. Now this is nothing against this girl, but she's a very nice girl. She's cute. We just, uh, she's engaged. I am not engaged. She wants to get married. That's the last thing on my mind. Her dream was to go and live on a farm in Indiana. And my dream is to never do that ever. So you guys probably think there's gonna be some epic conclusion. Boy, do I have one. I left the club alone. My friend stayed over at her house, the girl's house, and I drove myself home 
in his car. Now you could feel bad for me right now, or you could also feel bad for me. Please feel bad for me. Understand my situation. What am I, I grew up on the internet. Like, do you think I can talk to human beings normally? Hey, thank you guys for watching, listening. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe if you're new. Give this video a thumbs up because it, I'm telling you to. Also, comment below if you hate clubs or if you hate your cousin, David. Do you have a cousin named David? Tell me about him. And just an update, it's my 23rd birthday coming up, so follow me on Twitter. They, they have nothing to do with each other, but I'm trying to get you. This is me incentivizing you. I'm following me on Twitter. Stop it.